Chapter 18 Then the whole congregation of the people of Israel assembled at Shiloh and set up the tent of meeting there. The land lay subdued before them. There remained among the people of Israel seven tribes whose inheritance had not yet been apportioned. So Joshua said to the people of Israel, How long will you put off going in to take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you? Provide three men from each tribe, and I will send them out, that they may set out and go up and down the land. They shall write a description of it with a view to their inheritances, and then come to me. They shall divide it into seven portions. Judah shall continue in his territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall continue in their territory on the north. And you shall describe the land in seven divisions, and bring the description here to me. And I will cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. The Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their heritage. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. So the men arose and went, and Joshua charged those who went to write the description of the land, saying, Go up and down in the land and write a description and return to me, and I will cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. So the men went and passed up and down in the land and wrote in a book a description of it by towns in seven divisions. Then they came to Joshua to the camp at Shiloh, and Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua apportioned the land to the people of Israel, to each his portion. The lot of the tribe of the people of Benjamin according to its clans came up, and the territory allotted to it fell between the people of Judah and the people of Joseph. On the north side their boundary began at the Jordan. Then the boundary goes up to the shoulder north of Jericho, then up through the hill country westward, and it ends at the wilderness of beth From there the boundary passes along southward in the direction of Luz, to the shoulder of Luz, that is Bethel. Then the boundary goes down to Adaroth Adar, on the mountain that lies south of lower beth Then the boundary goes in another direction, turning on the western side southward from the mountain that lies to the south, opposite beth and it ends at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, a city belonging to the people of Judah. This forms the western side, and the southern side begins at the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim, and the boundary goes from there to Ephron to the spring of the waters of Naphtoah. Then the boundary goes down to the border of the mountain that overlooks the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is at the north end of the valley of Rephaim, and it then goes down to the valley of Hinnom, south of the shoulder of the Jebusites, and downward to Enrogel. Then it bends in a northerly direction, going on to Enshemesh, and from there goes to Galilath, which is opposite the ascent of Adummim. Then it goes down to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and passing on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Arabah, it goes down to the Arabah. Then the boundary passes on to the north of the shoulder of Beth Hogla, and the boundary ends at the northern bay of the Salt Sea, at the south end of the Jordan. This is the southern border. The Jordan forms its boundary on the eastern side. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, boundary by boundary, all around. Now the cities of the tribe of the people of Benjamin, according to their clans, were Jericho, Beth Hogla, Emekizes, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avim, Pera, Ophrah, Kefir Ammonai, Ophni, Geba, twelve cities with their villages Gibeon, Ramah, Beeroth, Mizpah, Kephira, Moza, Rechem, Erpiel, Taralah, Zila, Eileph, Jebus, that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and kiriath Jerem, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the people of Benjamin according to its clans. Chapter 13 There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices, and he answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those eighteen on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. And he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it, and found none. And he said to the vine dresser, Look, for three years now I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? And he answered him, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig around it and put on manure. Then if it should bear fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. Now he was teaching in one of them. Hello and welcome to Bible Time. Today, Joshua chapter 18. Seven tribes of Israel still has not given their inheritance. So Joshua commanded 
that three people from each tribe will go and survey the land and bring the report. And then they were going to divide the land. When they have returned to Joshua, and he cast a lot for them and gave the land to the remaining tribes based on their tribal divisions. Now the first lot was cast was for the Benjamin tribe. Their territory was right above Judah and right below Joseph's tribe. And it was still considered the southern kingdom later on when the kingdom gets divided. It is the southern kingdom where Judah and Benjamin, they were the southern kingdom. And Joshua continued to cast a lot for other tribes and distributed the land and for all the tribes of Israel except for the Levite tribe, for they were not given any portion of the land because the Lord is their portion. They had this special privilege of having the duty in the temple. So the Levite's inheritance was Lord himself. And now Luke chapter 13, verse 1 through 9, here we find Jesus saying, God desires repentance. The issues came up to Jesus. People were saying that Pilate, killing the people from Galilee, mixing the blood with the sacrificed blood of the lamb in the temple. Now this was a horrible sin. And, but Jesus responded by saying, they're not worse than anyone else who does not repent. And Jesus says, 18 people who died by the tower that fell and killed them, they are not worse than anyone else. And he said, unless you repent, everyone likewise will perish. So what Jesus is saying is that sin is a sin. Whether it's murder or lies or sexual sin, whatever sin is, they're all equal sin before God. No one is less sinner than anyone else. We're all sinner. And what he desires is that we repent. For all will perish if we do not repent. No matter how big sin might appear to another, it's all sin before God and we must come to repent. To illustrate this, Jesus gave a parable of a fig tree that did not bear fruit. A owner had a fig tree did not bear any fruit for three years and he said to the servant to cut it down for it is useless. The servant says, let's wait for one more year. Let's give fertilizer and if by next year, if it does not bear fruit, then we will cut it down. So this parable was to, to show that God is patient. He is a God who gives second chances. But if he still does not repent, then you will receive what it deserves. So what God wants us is that he desires a repentance. Okay, We do not judge other people worse or bad or their worst sinner. We all are sinner. We need to come in repentance. That's what God desires. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you. We ask the Lord that you would humble our heart and before we judge other people how bad their sin is, help us to realize that we're all sinner. and what you desire is that we repent from our sin and that we turn to you. So help us, Lord, to do that. Help us to turn from sin and turn to you in Jesus' name. Amen.